again, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with what I hope to be the conclusion of the pineapple shawl tutorial. And we are on row 23. That is to say, after the repeat, um, 23 would be the next, the next row um, after your repeat. Now, what I mean by that is the, the last row of the repeat is the one where you have your two clusters at the end. You just did your increase, and then you have your cluster and your cluster separated by a chain three space. Now, of course, you can do as many of the repeats as I had mentioned previously, um, but this is the point that you want to be at for doing the edging rows. Very exciting. Now, what I did was is, as I said previously, yes, I ripped out the last repeat so that the rows would be shorter and therefore the video would be shorter for you guys. So we have ourselves one of those chain three spaces and then in the middle we have another one of those chain three spaces and then towards the top this is our center spine we've got two of those chain three spaces. So if you kept going you would just have the only difference is that you would have more of these chain three spaces uh, throughout the, the sides of your work. That's really the only difference for the sake of this tutorial. You only get one. I'm sorry, but I'm trying to make this doable. So without further ado, let's get started on our row 23. Alrighty. Alrighty, so for row 23, going to chain up three, just as per usual and cluster in the cluster. That is, of course, two doubles, chain one, two doubles, two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. Now, instead of doing what we did previously, where it was the sort of the, the foundation for the 10 doubles, well, we're not doing those anymore. So going directly from this cluster, going to make another cluster in this chain three space. No chains, no, no chain spaces or stitches in between this cluster and the one that we're going to be doing. Just go right into that chain three space with another cluster. So two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. Okay, and then into the next cluster. Yep, another cluster. So again, do not chain. Just go into that chain space with your cluster. Two doubles. Chain one. Two doubles. And we are going to be doing a lot of clusters. That's pretty much the only thing that makes the, the edging rows different is that it's going to be a lot of these clusters. So from here, we still need to go across the top of our pineapple. So chain three, and into that loop, single crochet, chain three, single in the next loop, 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 and we're out of loops. So here we have two clusters. Well, we have to get there first. So chain three, and then cluster in the cluster. So two doubles, chain one, two doubles, and then into the chain three space, another cluster, do not chain, just go right in into that chain space with your new cluster, two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Okay, next cluster, do a cluster. two doubles, 
chain one, two doubles. And then we have another pineapple. So chain three, single in the loop. Chain three, single in the next 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 loop. And we're out of loops. So chain three. All right, now we have reached the, the top with our center spine right here. So from this chain three, cluster in the cluster. With two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Okay, pull out a little bit more yarn. And then into the chain three space, another cluster. Two doubles, chain one, two doubles. There we are. Then into the center spine cluster. Yep, another cluster. two doubles, chain one, two doubles. And I hit a knot already. Eh, it happens. There we go. Okay, so I got the two doubles, chain one, and two doubles, and that's the center spine. In the chain three space, another cluster. Okay, and then one more cluster in the cluster here, which leaves us, yes, with a lot of clusters, but it works. Okay, so at this point, at the top, you should have one, two, three, four, five clusters in a row. All right, and now we get to work down this side here. So let's get ourselves situated. Okay, so working our way down the opposite side, chain three, work into the top of this pineapple. So single in that first loop, chain three, single in the next, chain three, single in the next, chain three, and so on and so forth across the top of this pineapple. And we've run out of loops, always a nice feeling. So chain three, cluster in the cluster. Two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Cluster in the chain three space. And then cluster in the cluster. So we'll have three clusters in a pretty little row. Okay, then we have to work across the top of this pineapple. So chain three, single in that first loop, chain three, single in the next loop, and so on and so forth across the top of this pineapple.
and we've done it once again. So we've reached the end. Chain three and cluster in the cluster. Two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Now, like I said, of course, on your piece, you're going to have more of these sections with more pineapples to go across, but that's really the only difference from what we're doing here. So, okay, so I got my cluster, cluster in the chain three space. And then one more cluster in the last cluster. And really? <laughs> oh, dear me. There we go. Okay, that is the end of what is effectively row 23. Okay. Okay, row 24. Now what we're going to do is we're going to branch out our clusters that we created. So chain up three, turn your work, cluster within that first cluster as normal. So two doubles, chain one, two doubles. And going right into that middle cluster that we did, we're going to increase that cluster. So going directly from this one into the chain one space of that second cluster with two doubles. chain one, two doubles, chain one, two doubles. So going from four to six doubles in that middle cluster, okay? And that is how we're going to treat the others as well. But for now, going to go into that next cluster with a cluster. So two doubles, chain one, two doubles. So really it's just the, the new cluster, the middle cluster that we are changing. The others stay the same, okay? Otherwise you're gonna end up with a really crazy wonky piece. So from here, chain three, working across the top of the pineapple, single crochet into that loop, chain three, single in the next loop, chain three, single in the next loop, chain three, single in the next loop. We're out of loops. Okay, so chain three, Cluster in the first cluster, normal. Two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Okay, middle cluster, expand. Two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. There we go. Next cluster, regular cluster, two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. So again, the outer ones remain the same. It's the one in the middle. That's the one that's increased. Okay, so scooting right along. Chain three. S 
single in that first loop, chain three, single in the next loop, chain three, single in the next loop, chain three, single in the next loop, and we are out of loops. So chain three, cluster in the cluster regularly because it's at the edge. So two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Okay, now this is the one that we formed. So this one gets changed. This one gets increased and this one gets increased. This center spine one gets left alone. This one gets left alone. And this one over here gets left alone. It's just the ones where we had our chain three spaces before. Those are the ones that get increased at the top. So going right into that next one with the increase. Two doubles, chain one, two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. So we've got our six, then into the center spine cluster, regular, so it's two doubles, chain one, and two more doubles. Okay, and then we have our chain three space cluster, so two doubles, chain one, two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. Okay, so we got two, four, six. Next cluster, last one for the top. It's a regular, so it's two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Okay, now for the sake of brevity, and because I think that you guys are really starting to understand what it is that I'm doing by now. So from here, you would chain three, work across the top of your pineapple as normal, chain three, regular cluster, increased cluster with the, the six doubles, regular cluster, chain three, Work away your cross the top of this pineapple, chain three, regular cluster, increased cluster, regular cluster. And that is the end of row 24. Okay, I've got faith in you guys. You can do this. And if you get stuck, you can just re-watch what I had done previously for this row. It's okay. It's okay to rewind and replay. That's fine. So I will see you for row 25. See you in a bit. Okay, so row 25 for the edging. Start by chaining up three. Turn the work. Start with a regular cluster in the end here. There we go. Okay, now, dealing with the middle cluster, well, in that first chain one space, do a cluster, just a regular cluster. So two doubles, chain one, two doubles. And then to separate them, chain three, do another cluster in that next chain one space. So two doubles, chain one, two doubles. And then in the following cluster, just a regular cluster, nothing schmancy.
So this is how we are going to approach our other center clusters for the rest of this row, okay? It's just two clusters separated by a chain three space. That's really all there is to it, but I'm gonna do the first half of the row with you guys. So chain three, single in the space, chain three, single in the next space, chain three, single in the next space, and we're out of spaces. Okay. Chain three. Come on. Thank you. Okay. Regular cluster in the first cluster. So two doubles, chain one, two doubles. And then into the center cluster. First chain space cluster. Two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Chain three, cluster in the second chain space. And then cluster in the cluster. There we go. So just like how we started, cluster in the cluster, two clusters separated by chain three space, cluster in the cluster. Not that bad, huh? Okay. And let's scoot our way to the top. So chain three, single in the first loop. Just working our way across this pineapple here. Chain three, single in the next loop. Chain three, single in the next loop. We're out of loops. So chain three, cluster in the first cluster as normal. Okay, second cluster. Okay, cluster in the first of the chain spaces. Chain three, cluster into the second chain space. And now we have the, the center spine cluster. So cluster into that cluster. And we have our next increase cluster. So cluster in the first chain space. Chain three, cluster in the second chain space of the increase cluster. Pull out a little bit more yarn. Okay, just two more doubles in here. Okay. 
There we go. And then cluster in the last of the top clusters. And then from here, you would follow suit just as we have been where you would chain three, work away your work your way across the top of this pineapple and then chain three cluster in the cluster, cluster in the first chain space, chain three, cluster in the next chain space, cluster in the cluster, chain three, work your way across the top of this pineapple, cluster, cluster, chain three, cluster, and cluster. Okay, so I'm going to leave you to it. I'm going to finish up the rest of the row off camera. So yeah, the, the top of your piece, you should have your two chain three spaces here and here. And then you should have one, of course, over here. And then should have one at the beginning as well. All right, so I will meet back up with you for row 26. Okay, row 26, gonna be a little bit easier. We're really just gonna be filling in the gaps, so to speak. So chain up three, turn the work, cluster in the cluster. There we go. Then cluster in the cluster. Come on, thank you. <laughs> okay, now to fill in the gaps in that chain three space, just do another cluster. No chains in between, just go right in and do your two doubles, chain one, two doubles. How easy is that? Then in your next cluster, yeah, do another cluster. And do one more cluster. So at this point, at the end here, you should have one, two, three, four, five clusters, all nice and pretty in a row. No chain spaces in between, just Cluster, 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 cluster. Mm -hmm. And then continue on going across the top of your pineapple. So chain three, single in the loop. Chain three, single in the loop. We're out of loops. Chain three. There we go. Cluster in the cluster. <clears throat> Excuse me. There we go. Cluster into the next cluster. Cluster into the chain three space. And then cluster into the next two clusters.
Okay, so again, you should have one, two, three, four, five clusters. There we are. And then work your way across the top of the next pineapple. So chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three. And we have reached the top of our piece. So just going to do this. And then, yes, after we go around, you know, over the, the top, yes, you are on your own for the rest of this row, but you guys can do this. I know you can. So from here, cluster in the cluster. Cluster into the next cluster. There we go. Sorry. There we go. Cluster, cluster, cluster in the chain three space. cluster into the next cluster. Okay, and then this is the center spine. So cluster into that cluster as normal. Cluster into the next one. And then into the chain three space cluster. And then two more. I told you there was going to be a lot of clusters, did I not? <laughs> oh, man. I didn't lie. Nope. Okay, one more, at least for this top section here. <laughs> okay Whew. my goodness all right so at the top here you should have one two three four five six seven eight nine clusters all in a row i know it's a lot but it works all right, and then, so following suit with what we've been doing in the exact same fashion. So you would chain three, single, chain three, single, chain three, cluster, 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 cluster. Chain three, single, chain three, single, chain three, cluster, 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 cluster. Mm -hmm. And I will meet back up with you for row 27 and the conclusion finally <laughs> of this project i know it's been a long haul but for those of you that are still with me thank you for being here i appreciate it all right i'll see you on row 27. all righty so last but certainly not least we have row 27 for the edging 
and this one is going to be pretty darn easy, all things considered. So starting off by chaining up three, turning the work, cluster in the cluster, and then cluster into the next cluster normally nothing different there it is just the cluster that we've been working on that center one that's the only one that we are going to be concerning ourselves with all of the other ones are as normal regular cluster regular cluster then it's this center one that we dealt with last time we're going to increase it. So into the cluster, we're going to go from four to six doubles. So that's two, chain one, three, four, chain one, five, and six and that's all there is to it as far as the the rest of this row is concerned so like i said nice and easy peasy so let us continue on with the rest of these two clusters to go so just cluster in the cluster Cluster in the next cluster. Okay, then chain three, work into that last loop of the pineapple. Chain three, single crochet into that last loop. There we go. And chain three. And then work into these clusters. Same deal as before. So cluster in the first cluster. Pulling out some more yarn because that's what we need to do. All right. Cluster in the first cluster, almost there. Do to do. Do to do. Do do. Do do. Okay, cluster in the second cluster. Okay. And then into that third cluster, that fresh one there. Two doubles. Chain one. Two doubles. Chain one. And two doubles. Going from four to six. Like so. And then going from the middle cluster to regular clusters, following thereafter. Okay, so again, you should still have five clusters, but it's that center one that is increased. It sort of just, you know, fleshes it out a little bit. Okie dokie. So from here, going to go across the top of that next pineapple. So chain three, single in that 
little loop there, that last one left. Chain three. Cluster in the first cluster. Cluster in the second cluster. And my yarn is tangled. <laughs> oh, sorry, I know it keeps happening, but it's an occupational hazard, no? Okay, so we have two clusters. Third cluster, we need to increase. So, two doubles. Chain one. Two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. Okay. And then, let me see where we're at. Okay, so then three regular clusters. Now, I suppose what you could conceivably do, if you are of a mind to, this middle one, because it's going to be the last one, you probably could increase that one as well. I I haven't before. Um, I suppose you could, but eh, either way, I really don't think that it would make that much of a difference either way. But I haven't up until this point, so I'm not going to now. And then one more regular cluster. And then an increase cluster. So two doubles, chain one, two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. Okay. And then two regular clusters. Okie dokie. So, this in approximation is what the top should look like. So you just have two expanded ones. You know, like I said, I don't think that this would make a huge difference. It might make it look a little bit more rounded at the tippy top, but eh, I think it looks great as it is. And then you would continue on down in the same fashion with your chain three, single, chain three, cluster, cluster, increase cluster, 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 chain three, single, chain three, cluster, cluster, increase cluster, cluster, cluster. Okay, so I'm just going to finish up off camera and I'll meet back up with you. Ta-da! Oh yes, my dears, we are finally finished with this tutorial series. I'm so excited. And so, yes, we finished up the edging. I think it looks fabulous. Now, something that you could play around with, something that I personally am not going to, but something you could play around with is if you are not crazy about this with the edge, perhaps you could try to finagle it by having a cluster here and a cluster here and try to bridge that gap. Personally, I think that it looks really quite cool because these edges here, 
like from here to here. I don't know, it kind of makes me think of petals, if you will, sort of pineapple petals. I like it. And overall, I'm really quite pleased with this project. And I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Um, yeah, so that's it. That wraps it up for this tutorial series. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give a little thumbs up button down below. And you know what to do until next time. I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay stitching, and please stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other and make something fabulous. Have a yarny day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.